Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, what we're about to see is a day in the life of Yolanda Grande. Actually a day in the life of a pro runner. Let's go. It's Tuesday. I'm at practice and I just got done with a 20 minute tempo and everyone else is doing like mile repeats and 200s or something. I wouldn't call them lips of love my youth you wanna devour. What's the verdict? I wasn't really feeling good today. <laughs> yeah. Uh when the workout starts. I feel like uh, I was ready but Whoa. Yeah. I feel like a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Some money. You know? So you're not on our team. I'm out with the winner circle. It's like a sprint group in Atlanta. What's a sprint mid distance Olympic training group in Atlanta? And I heard you went to Sweden last summer. I did. For I my did. Swedish viewers, I where did, were you? I did. I was in uh, Karlstad, Sweden. <laughs> nice. I was in Stockholm and I went to Karlstad and competed there. Are you going to come back? I am, definitely, definitely. I will be there. Oh, you know already. Like May 30th or something like that. Oh, nice. So. I'll see you there. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've never run with a camera before. First person in here, JK. Dean is here too. I'm gonna put my phone in. <laughs> now it's time to lift, except for no one's here. I don't know where they are, but they should be coming within 10 minutes. And then we're gonna do our thing to the music. After I lift, I do hurdles. It's time to get half avocado. I guess it's a little bit less than half avocado. Some rice from yesterday. This vegan mayo called Just. So me and Christian are here at uh, La Belle Elementary. We're volunteering for the track club, which is what we do two hours uh, each year. Today we're visiting an elementary school and kind of just like showing them drills and stuff. Yeah, we're leading them through some games right now. They're running like a mile or something. Special visit, Bob Prince and all. <laughs> Do you feel confident in your uh, <laughs> in your yeah, leadership today? My obstacle course. <laughs> yeah, we gotta check it out. I would oh appreciate gosh. if you didn't. You, know, <laughs> you know what I wish we had on film is your technique for getting people into a lot. <laughs> A, she had him form a snake, like in a big U, and then said the middle to come forward. The kids were confused. They didn't want, want to come forward. Yeah. They wanted to back away. And Team Christian, someone from Team Christian, stand over there. Nice. Mountain climbers. One, two. So the deed is done. Yeah. Now it's like four. Usually, I would have a double today, but since. It's just the beginning of the season, I don't have one, so it's kind of nice. Is it dating YouTube? What to do? Spice up your relationship. Okay. Volunteer together. Hang out with a bunch of little kids. Pretend like you have one. Uh, I have a question here for Christian. Oh no, I said your name. Is what's the best part about being a pro runner? The gear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the flexibility. The to flexibility. be able to do what you want on your day. Like tonight, I have French class on SWAT. <laughs> can it flexibility haunt you sometimes? Sometimes. It can be a little much. Because you literally have to make your own schedule. Or people ask us often, what do you do no, in that, That's the most, that's probably the most annoying thing to be here for. Yeah. Is answering that question. Yeah. We never ask them. Yeah, I don't know. What do you do outside of work? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you do with your day? I don't follow you around and ask how much money you make. <laughs> Maybe this video should know, be called watching not. Some lunch. Life hack. If you meet a pro athlete and you have one ass, then what else do you do in the day? <laughs> think about this. What do you do outside work? <laughs> I kind of want to take a nap. I think I'm going to hang out. I think I'm going to hang out with Janelle. Hello. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> 
I uh, asked you guys what questions you have in general and many people were asking how to get faster and most people asking were in high school so I thought we'd have a little chit chat a little chit chat and you can tell us a bit briefly about your running career I uh, ran with Yolanda for a couple of years I went to University of New Mexico and Portland State and just had a lot of injuries I mean first advice for getting faster yeah. don't get injured and that's hard. Yeah, that it's is hard. Prehab, we call prehab, it. Prehab, prehab. So you don't have to rehab, you prehab. So many high school kids who their fastest year in college is, <laughs> is their freshman year because they did too high mileage in high school and then they just can't. Then they just can't sustain it. When you're in high school, you think that it's those years are super critical. I'm 27, it's like. Now I'm like, okay, high school wasn't like that. It's zero percent important at this yeah. point. Yeah. You don't have to do anything extreme. Well, and it comes back to, I feel like, injuries. Yeah. Also, Actually, my collarbone's broken, so that's why oh, I look yeah. weird. It looks like I'm not wearing a shirt. <laughs> just, <laughs> can, you, can you cut that early? Please. I mean, I, it, it just looks like I'm just like, hey, guys. Uh, yeah, um, I'm wearing a sling, so. And a lot of people are doing the most and then they get injured so it's like cool you were able to run 70 miles a week one time and then <laughs> yeah. like now you have a stress fracture like yay so, for you you know yeah that's so true <laughs> injury prevention even though it doesn't sound like a fun answer it's not a, it's a, yeah. not a fun at all but that's the thing because there's no like fast lane to, to yeah. getting fast mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, finish. everybody <laughs> wants like oh, oh nothing happened like a magic pill and you know, oh, eat this oh, one no, thing my and battery. you'll be fast. Or like, oh god. So my camera died and we didn't get to wrap up the conversation. But basically, our advice for runners at any age, really, is to stay injury free. The way, in my opinion, to stay injury free is to always listen to your body. Uh, if you feel an ache, you know, rather take a day off than keep going especially in high school like in high school if you have a pain just like don't push it don't push it have fun with running because you have so many years left i'm 27 so i was in high school like over 10 years ago i was one of those people who if i had a pain i just like didn't run like sometimes maybe i should have talked to my coach and been like oh my foot is hurting can you help me instead i would just wouldn't show up at practice i would like go to the pool myself and just like not talk to him okay well, thank you for watching again, and don't hesitate to comment, or like the video, or subscribe, or recommend to your friends. I'm going to Flagstaff next week with my team for a month, and I'm gonna film there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my day, and see you soon. Bye-bye!